I like how the Sir Slush over there isn't like moving at all. Like he has no eyes and he's just smiling. It's so creepy. Cthulhu, can you stop hitting me? God, I'm gonna chop your face off and feed it to the hungry kids of the world. And that one's over there is just hopping. He's all like, oh, well, I see you, but you know, you're that you're not close enough for me to hit. So, anyways, hey guys, Cole Faze on here, and welcome back to Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode, we got six jiggies here in World Five Freeze Easy Peaks. In this episode, we're going to be, we're going to be getting the rest of the jiggies here, except for one. I'll tell you why. And yeah, so. We're going to be heading into Mumbo's hut here. I don't know why I even like started recording it here because I'm just gonna freeze my ass off. Oh, I think my my scrotum shrunk. Okay, anyways, because <laughs> you know it's cold and stuff like that. Anyways, here's Mumbo. He's like, oh, what do you want? And this time we need 15. It does go up by five every time. So yeah. Anyways, let's get up here. And there is a jig Jinjo. Dude, last time I was so mad that I said freaking Jiggy instead of Jinjo. Like, I don't know why I say that. Like, I've never had that problem before. Is that it? Anyways, if you fly up here in the middle... Actually, wait. No, no. You know what? Dude, I don't even remember. Hello? Oh, you know why? Yeah, okay. I'm thinking of something else. Maybe I'm thinking about last level. Okay, anyways. Here we go. We're gonna change into Mumbo. I thought there was an extra honeycomb piece up there, but I know where it's at, actually. And I'm gonna turn you into a cute little walrus. Aww. Banjo gone all fat. Got the big teeth. <laughs> hey, well, these teeth can. I can stick them up your ass and kill you with it. <laughs> so, anyways, we're a cute little walrus. And so, walrus have thick fat and they live in the cold. We are impervious to the freezing water. But the snowmen still throw shit at us because they're evil. Oh! I like how his tail flips up. It's like. Whee! Anyways, there's some notes here. A9, B. Oh! 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Actually, you know what? I really don't even remember. I really don't even remember where the other um, <laughs> notes are. Uh, might have to cut to where I actually find them, but if you come over here, I'll eventually find them. If you notice, notes always come in pairs. There's never, like, one by itself. They're usually all together. So, yeah. So if you, like, miss one, if you have, like, 99 notes but you missed one, you probably, like, just weren't paying attention and you just missed one note in the pack. So, yeah, anyways. There is a mobo token, like, where the snowman shadow is. That yeah, okay. I was like, can I climb up here? Actually, you know what? I don't want to go over here because I can kill two birds with one stone if I come over here. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm going through the water and through the snow. Walrus is journeying. So, anyways, uh, we want to come up here. Actually, are those the rest of the notes? Oh God. Um, man, I don't even know where those notes are. That's kind of actually bugging me a little bit. Oh, there they are! Haha! -ha. See, I knew it. I'm not dumb. There we go. We got the rest of the notes. Seven ninety-eight. 99 and 100 we collected all 100 notes you found a 100 notes yay bottles thank you for reminding us sir already know this and boggy's like hey mr walrus fancy race hop on the sled if you do so let's hop on this sled we have no seat belt on so let's come on our fat will protect us when we get hit great now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end got it three two one go and we raced off yay i like this, this is so cute there's like one area I really hate in this race because I don't know, it's like it's like a real bad angle and it's like I don't know. So anyways, uh got a Boggy it's like kinda easy. He he pretty much rubber bands, like if you're winning, you know, he'll get ahead of you, but if you're falling a little bit behind, he'll go slow. So yeah. Ugh! Oh, bastard. Yeah, it's like some car cutting into you. It's like what the fuck, man? That's how my mom is. Like if you cut in front of her, she'll She'll have like a heart attack. She'll be like, Oh my god, this guy's just got in front of me. Who the fuck do you think you are? Anyways, this is the part where I really hate with the angle. It's, it's like really weird. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I just find that like kind of hard. Anyways, uh, we're doing good so far. So yeah, if you do miss one of these thingies, you're gonna have to like go around and get it again. So yeah, like you have to reverse back or whatever the hell you do. So come on, I can win this. Jump this shit. Ugh. Okay, we're winning. This is the final stretch. 
easy way to do this is to, like you gotta jump when you're going up the slope. That way you get more like speed. Wee woohoo! And we beat my guy. Anyways, phew! You're too quick for me, Mr. Rolls. Here's your medal. I reckon I need to race someone my own size. And so, yeah, when he mentions his own size, he means Banjo and Kazooie, but we cannot do that yet because when you're racing him, he is way too fast. And so, he'll actually be so slow. He'll actually be, like, too fast that, um, he'll be like, like, you know, oh, you know, you're too slow. So, yeah, that's why we need the running shoes. And those snowmen are so creepy not moving. So, anyways, this, uh, walrus is, like, so happy to see us. He's like, yo, I got something for you. Wow, another walrus, take this! But watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. He's <laughs> so mean. Anyways, we get a free jiggy! Yay! And, since he went in his little cave, and since, you know, we're part of the same species and all that stuff, we can go into his little cave! He's, you know, it's real cute! He's like, why? Hello again, Mr. Walrus. Feel free to have a look around Woza's cave! So yeah, his name's Woza, and there's a... A Jinjo up there, but what the hell? That was weird. <laughs> he got like stuck up. The... He got like stuck. So, anyways, we have to turn back into Banjo to get that. So, anyways, if you come over, yeah, here, there is a little uh, pathway. I like the way he like sounds underwater. It's like his skin reminds me of the sushi I eat. It's like rice inside, but the skin is so good. Like the wrapping is so good. Anyways, you get the extra honey cookies, and we've got no uh, chinker. <laughs> Chinker, go away. You know, when I first, like, um, heard of the name Chinker, like, for the video, like, I wanted to put in the scene where Edna and Nettie, like, where Double D was, like, losing sleep. Like, he wanted to sleep, but everybody kept waking him up. And so Johnny was talking to him with, about with Plank. He's like, Plank's got this growth, you know, is it serious? And then, like, Ed, like, Double D starts to laugh. He's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. Like, I wanted to put that when I said Chinker. It's like, ah, ha, ha. So, yeah, anyway. We're done here for now, so we are gonna get the hell out of here. So we got all the notes. We got eight uh, jiggies. So um, yeah, I guess what I'll do is turn back into Banjo and Kazooie and meet you guys over here. So see you guys in a tiny bit. Okay, guys, I am back as Banjo and K -K 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 Kazooie. All right, now we're back in Wills' cave, and he's, like, gonna freak out. He's like, oh my god, it's the bear and the bear again! Oh, the bear again! Take that nose! And take that noisy orange thing with you and leave poor Woza alone. We didn't even do anything to you, dude. Anyways, we get the ninth jiggy here. Woohoo! Ah, oh, jeez. Opening it up, the Pandora's box talking about this. That key over there, I'm not gonna go inside because, um, this whole- That key, the opening, like, the thing I mentioned about Shark Food Island, that key is related to it. And I just, like, I don't want to talk about it right now. I, like, I want to talk about it in a couple of more episodes, just... But, uh, yeah, anyways. Um, Snowman. Yeah, also... I forgot to mention that I did save and quit, which is why the Sir Slushes are back in the game, you know, because before I killed them all, but uh, yeah. And also, we do have 13 Mumbo Tokens, so like I said in the beginning, we would have 13 Mumbo Tokens when we were done here. And we are we are done here. Uh -huh. And so there is Boggy again. Now, we only have nine Jiggies. The last one is to get, uh, is to beat Boggy as Banjo and Kazooie, but we cannot do that because, like I said before, we are too slow to beat him. He'll be like super fast and stuff. He'll be like, I'm using jetpacks or whatever the hell he does. I don't even know. Okay, anyways, um, let's exit the level and move on, I guess, to the sixth world. Now, for the Slayer Jiggy that I unlocked with the Witch Switch in Freeze Easy Peaks, we can't do that either because, again, we're too slow to do what we need to do. So, yeah, those running shoes are very important to us. So, yeah. Anyways, let us go here into, what is this, the fourth area? What did I say last episode? I was like, welcome to the fifth area of Grantee's Lair. I'm like, that wasn't the fifth area. To me, like, each note door I go through, I consider that a new area. So, like, let me see. First area, and then we got like the second area, and then the third area. So, this is like the fourth area of Gruntilla's Lair. So, anyways, this is the sixth uh, jigsaw puzzle world thing. It is Gobi's Valley, which is located in the third area of Gruntilla's uh, thing of a jigger. Now, you know, you don't want to fall down here. Oh, well, hey, Brantilda, what's up, bitch? And yeah, you don't want to fall down there because there's badly pixelated lava down there, so 
Actually, it's kind of cool. You know, I always thought for some reason... Oh, actually, I'll say it another time because I'm kind of actually going to give spoilers away, so... I'll talk about it another time. Anyways, this is disgusting. I hate coming out of her mouth like that. It's gross. Anyways, we gotta go back to the... What is it? Like, third area of Gruntiza Lair. And also, I forgot to pick up the Mumbo Token behind the sarcophagus, so... Mumbo Token, Ecom Token, whatever. So anyways... Uh, actually, no. <laughs> yeah, do you, not, you do not want to cross that sand over bare feet. So we're gonna break open this wall here and get them the uh, waiting boots. Yeah, waiting boots, motherfucker. So anyways, let's hop our way. Wee, wee. Oh, 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 what the fuck? Come on. No timer. Shit. Make it. Oh. oh. Now before we head in behind Gobi's little valley entrance is Brentilda, so I guess we can talk to her. Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful Sweaty Betty. Ew. Sweaty Betty? When relaxing, she usually reads Fat Hag Monthly magazine. While sipping a glass of her favorite smoothie, Elephant Sweat. Dude, that's just so foul and disgusting. Oh, you poor dears, your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. That's better. So, like, okay, Grunty's, like, that's her sister and stuff like that. And, of course, Grunty has more sisters, which, you know, and Banjo-Tooie. But, like, Grunt, I mean, Bruntilda's the nicer one, and she, like, I guess, I guess she's supposed to consider it a witch, but I guess not, because she wants to be a fa like, she's a fairy, or something like that? I don't know, like, she just has this fairy, the fairy look instead of a witch look, but anyways, behind, like, the little uh, exit pad is the, uh, um, yellow, uh, Jinjo. So anyways, welcome to Gobi's Valley, a dry, dry desert. There are ten Mumbo tokens here, so... When we leave, we'll have 23. There is no Mumbo's hut here. So anyways, we got this Hand of Doom. And the new move with the running shoes is in this world, so yeah. Let me jump and make it. Oh, lame. Because before, like, I jumped up there and, like, actually did it. Hmm, actually. Hmm. I want to do this now. Hmm, actually. Hmm. So if we get the waiting boots behind this uh, giant sphinx, we can get these notes here and another mumbo token. Oh my god! If there's any more mumbo tokens, oh no, you better get the pick that bitch up. So I got the 3DS from my friend, so I'm like super excited to start my little project I got going on. The guy should have more uh, 3DS capture boards like on January 11th and. I, like, want to be one of the first people to actually pick one up, because I think those things are going to get scarfed up the moment they're, like, put on, uh, at stock, so. Yeah, I'm, like, so ready to pick it up. Anyways, if you come up here on top of the Sphinx here, the uh, yeah, Sphinx, <laughs> I don't know my Egyptian shit, uh, I get in front of here, and obviously this guy is alive, because his eyes are blinking, it's a doggy. I just get up on the nose to get that second Mumbo token, and get on one of these, and he will, my nose is all blocked up. So we're gonna shove shit in his nose. He's gonna be like, "Hey, that tickles." And so if we do it again, he's going to sneeze all over you. And uh... did anybody used to do that in school? Like, you like get a spray bottle and you pretend you were gonna sneeze and like you spray the water. <laughs> Like, I did that to my friend before, and she, like, screamed, like, bloody murder. I was like, God, man, it's just some water, you fucking little pussy. Jeez. So anyways, we're in, like, this little temple thing, and... Mumbo token. No, no, you're not gonna get me. I forgot what these things are called. Oh, my God. Anyways, we got some hands. Not hands, we got some notes over here. Ah, I'm probably going on the screen what they're called. I have no idea. I forgot to look at the enemy list, because I don't even remember the enemies in Banjo-Kazooie. <sighs> Anyways, you get up on this carpet, you get the note, and this thing is like, you know, gotta shove something in my mouth, so let's shove some eggs in his mouth. I love the noise of this carpet when it goes up. It's like, mm -hmm. And behind the carpet, oh man, that was a weird jump. There is a, a Jinjo. Anyways, um, these things, these carpets are timed, so like, you better hurry up. Because it'll eventually go back down. This one's a little bit quicker, so. And feed this guy. Mmm, salmonella, raw eggs. And. Oh, yeah, we got the jiggy motherfucker. Woohoo! 
And we fall to our deaths. Uh. Alright. Let's get out of here. And I have no idea. It's funny, a couple of days ago I was hanging out with my friend and we like make up song lyrics and stuff to things. And so we saw that like that one uh, that one movie called Frozen, you know, the animated movie with like the two sisters. You know, and she had like one of the sisters had like ice powers. But anyways, um one of the songs, I can't really remember what it was, but she sings like Let It Go, like something else. And so after the movie theaters, um, I was singing it and I was like, Let it go and then I went like a fart and it was just it was so hilarious and so we went to Chipotle and we were like thinking up funny lyrics and stuff and so it's like let it go smell it <laughs> it's just like really funny it's like take a whiff <laughs> uh, but anyways if you get on the fly pad and you go through these little things it'll be like hey we know the secret to beating Gruntilla so why the hell not let's just go and you know go through the rings of this thing um, and a couple of days ago, she, she had like, um, she's like, you know that one song, Mamma Mia? She's like, Mamma Mia! You know, I was like, oh yeah, she, like, she made up her own lyric. She was like, diarrhea, here it comes again. Oh no, it's pouring out like lava. <laughs> it was just so hilarious, oh my god. Yeah, we're just having some fun. I couldn't find my keys because after when I parked, we were at the mall. And I was like, where's my keys at? And so I found them. I was like, oh my god, there's my keys. And my friend's like, oh, we were really, like all excited. And like some lady looked at us all crazy. <laughs> it's just like super funny. Uh, she's my bestie. We consider ourselves like best friends, soulmates. <laughs> Anyways, only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Oh, well, fuck you. I get your kids something about like that. Like, I want to find my sister Tootie. And you said you like had like the secret to be Gruntilda. <laughs> What a bunch of dicks. Anyways, on top of him is another jiggy. So. Woohoo! Why are ban Banjo's feet, like, dark on the bottom? Well, I don't know. Then again, animals have dark shit on the bottom. Anyways, let's fly up again and let's... Let's, I guess, beak bomb this. I didn't know there was a golden feather on top of that. So anyways, uh, if you hit it... Woohoo! Uh, the pyramid will open up. It's time during the cutscene. Like, wow! Dicks, no. But you have plenty of time anyway, so. Let's drop down. And go in. I believe this is the matching. No, it's not. Oh, this is the one with the freaking. Howdy, 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 Guy. Alright, so, anyways. Some notes here, and. Ugh. Ecom token. Mumbo token. Don't forget that. Each one of these little, uh, spaces has, a. Uh, some notes, so don't forget about that. And we got 34. Alright. So, he says, Hello, my friend, I am Ruby. Can I be some help? No. We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's, it's, yours. it's yours. If you can get it, use it. Whatever the fuck he says. Nope. So, we gotta, like, shit in his bowl. He wants caca. And I think it gets faster. Alright, here we go. And so he's like, Ah, oh, a thousand thanks, my friend. His top will now help with your quest. So if you get on top of the bag before he like does his little chanting shit, uh, it'll be easier to get the the jiggy. I think what they want you to do is actually like climb on top of the like climb up the snake's uh, spine. Like I mean you're a ton bear and like wouldn't you like break his neck? Surprise his neck's that one. Dude, this thing is so creepy. It like when he sing like when he makes the tune like that thing like wiggles and it's like -da -da. it's like what are you? It looks like a penis to me. It looks like a penis with balls. Oh my god. I just like now notice that. Alright, anyways. I guess... I'm gonna be running out of time here. Um... Yeah, I guess I'm gonna end off the video here. Those things are called scabbies. Little, fuck, little fuckers. Scarab beetles. I thought they were like giant ass bees, but... Wow, I'm, my eyes are messed up. Alright. Yes, okay, so next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to be continuing our journey through the hot, hot desert of Gobi's Valley. So thank you all for watching, and see you guys later.